First, remove the circuit board from the controller. Tools a screwdriver. A pair of tweezers. Unplug the connection sockets of the display board and the backplane. Remove all connections from the terminal block. Remove the four fixed angle screws from the circuit board. After removing the four fixing angle screws, remove the seven fixing screws of the MOS tube. Take the circuit board out of the controller box. Remove the insulating spacer from the MOS tube. Tools, multimeter, screwdriver, tweezers, thermal paste, insulating gasket. First, apply thermal paste on the MOS tube. Thermal glue must be applied evenly. The bottom of the control box is also coated with thermally conductive glue. After the thermal paste is applied, install insulating spacers behind the MOS tube. When installing, make sure that the insulating gasket is installed in place. Assemble the circuit board into the controller box. Align the four corner mounting screw holes. First screw on the two diagonal screws. Out of the four screws on the outside. After fixing of the circuit board, install the fixing screws of the MOS tube. There will be insulating particles on the seven fixing screws of the MOS tube. To ensure the integrity of the insulating particles above. After installing the MOS tube fixing screws, fasten the remaining two screws on the outside. Do not power on immediately circuit board is installed. Use a multimeter to check whether there is a short circuit on the circuit board. Set the multimeter to beep. If there is a short circuit, the multimeter will keep beeping. First, Put the red test pen, the fixing screw in the lower left corner of the circuit board. The black test pen measure P positive P negative W. The UTLTH will come and the lower right corner fixing screw respectively. Make sure there is no short circuit on the circuit board. If there is a short circuit, the installation needs to be rechecked. After checking reconnect the corresponding terminals.